Hello everyone! Today we will learn how to migrate archived emails from legacy archive systems like Superion, Email Lifecycle Manager, or ELM, as in our case, to Exchange servers like Office 365. For this migration we will use TechArrow's widely approved product, ContentGate, which supports numerous legacy archives. First, we need to create a new migration project. Let's start with it. In the upper left corner of the window, click New Migration. In the next pop-up window, choose Advanced from the Versions drop-down list and name your project. On the Source Archive side of the window, pick MAM from the list and click Configure to set the connection parameters. In the MAM connection window, click Change. First, select the database type that you want to connect to. Further click Next and specify the database server. The database list lists all databases on the selected server. Pick the one that you want to connect to, where you have the desired data. Enter the scheme and click Finish. Back in the initial dialog, specify the server and save your settings. On the right side of the window, pick Exchange Server from the list and click Configure to configure the connection. The first tab allows to connect to the Exchange Server directly or through a proxy server. We will connect to it directly and we switch to the next server tab. We choose Office 365 on this tab and will use Exchange Web Services to access it. By clicking the Configure option, the EWS Settings dialog opens. The EWS URL, Exchange version, and the Exchange user with the necessary rights must be entered here. The Exchange user must have at least view-only organization management right on the Exchange, and full access rights on the archived mailboxes to be migrated. Switch to the Mailboxes tab. Select Option Connect to PowerShell and configure the account that PowerShell will use to connect to the mailboxes. In case of Office 365 being the target archive, the domain doesn't need to be filled in. A PowerShell URL will be generated automatically. Choose Basic Authentication Type from the drop-down list, run a test connection, and click OK to save your settings. Back in the first dialog, click Create. The newly created migration project gets displayed in the left pane. Now we need to configure the migration project using its own management interface. Select it and click Open Migration Management in the right pane. The project's dashboard opens. Migration Details The last migrated items and the current thread activity can be viewed here. It is empty now. We will look at it later on. First we need to load the source objects that will be migrated switch to the Source Objects tab. You can either load all the available objects on the source connector or pick them manually. Manually select the mailboxes that you want to migrate from the desired objects. In our case, we use some test mailboxes. Now we are going to select the target of the migration, where the source folders will be migrated. Switch to the Target Objects tab. In this use case, we will migrate the archived mailbox folders to the mailbox company admin at tech-arrow.com. So we pick it from the list. Now we need to map the source objects to the target objects. This action is called object mapping. Open the mapping window. Click Create in the toolbar and map the desired object.
Mapped objects are shifted to the lower part of the dialog. Click OK to save these settings. ContentGate requires to add every mapped user to be migrated to a migration group. Groups help with better planning of the migration process, so the administrator won't have to migrate all users at once. So in the next step, we will create a migration group and add our mapping to it. Open the Migration tab and click Create Group in the toolbar. Name the group. Right-click in the dialog and add the desired members to it. As we have one mapping now, we add only this one to our group. Now we can create our migration job. A migration job is always associated to a group and processes the members to the associated group only. Open tab jobs of group in the same window and click create job in the toolbar. Name your job. Select the migration workflow and click create. The newly created job is now added to the grid and the migration can be started. Click Start in the grid. The current state of the last run of the job can be checked in the job details. In the overview can be seen that the archived emails have been successfully migrated to the selected Office 365 mailbox. The next tab shows the job's last run in more detail. The dashboard now displays the number of processed items, too. An overall migration report for the current project can be created using the Generate Migration Report option in the toolbar. The report can be saved in any of the available formats. The application allows to create such individual reports for the selected mappings too. Now we will take a quick look into the mailbox company admin at tech-arrow.com. Expand the folder structure and you will see that the migrated items are now available in the target mailbox. We are ready. The migration from ELM Superion to Office 365 has been completed successfully. Wish you could move your data between different archive systems? ContentGate manages Semantic, IXOS, Metalogix, Lotus Domino, PST Files, MS Exchange and many more data sources. Make it simply. Make it smartly. Try it now.